Hi all. I've got this old Epiphone guitar. I, I bought it used. It's still in good, good, good shape. My neck looks good. It's still in pretty good shape here. But uh, I let a friend use it and it came back with a hammer hole. So that's why you don't date crazy women. Okay. So what we're going to do is see if we can repair that hole and then we'll put new strings on it. Uh, in my younger days I used to take classical guitar lessons and my old teacher he actually studied in Spain at the, at the Segovia school. I had uh, on my cl on my cl on my classical guitar it had, it had gotten a it had gotten a couple cracks, and he said just put some wood glue on it from the inside. So that's where you know I I figure I can probably get away with this here. If it was on the bottom, I probably wouldn't even mess with it. But since it's on, on the top where, where your arm slides, that's why I want to try to. Uh, repair it okay so uh, I looked around the web and watched a few videos and I went to Walmart and, and bought this I thought this looked like a pretty good glue now it's, it's only about five bucks yeah I, I, I was looking for some type of balsa wood yeah and uh, the only thing I could find was these. These I, I also got these at Walmart near the uh, vacuums. It's just a thin balsa wood. So it, it, I, th I, I think it'll work. I, I've got, I, I cut a small piece out from here and I got it to match here pretty good. So I, I, I think it'll work. Okay. Uh, there's still some wood on the inside, so I'll be able to press it up after I glue it. So, with some luck, it might turn out halfway decent here. So, let's see what happens. What do you think? Start from the inside or start from the outside? <laughs> well, I think you'd start from the inside. Well, this this here, I'm just going to go ahead and spread, start spreading some glue here. Because you wouldn't be able to see what, what was going on in there otherwise. Yeah. I, I was going to take a, a wood file to it and then we noticed that there was still quite a bit of wood on the inside. So instead of tearing it all apart, I thought we'd use that wood to have something to anchor it to. So from the inside, huh? So I'm just going to put some glue on my finger here and try and spread it around the inside. No mystery here, just spreading glue around the hole on, on the inside. So. 
Okay. And then I'll, I'll put some glue on the uh, back side of this thing. We're going to get messy. I don't expect it to turn out perfect as long as it's halfway decent. So that actually seems pretty level. Well, well it was. There's a little bit of some gaps here. Yeah, I can fill that up with some Bondo or something. <laughs> well, you can fill it up with little pieces from left over there. Yeah. <laughs> I should have made one of those braces to go on the inside. That's what I should have made. Should have glued, glued that first and then let it dry on the inside. Well, I actually think that might be all right. It's not perfect, but it fills the hole. There ain't normal uh, glue. actually drying pretty quick. Did you, you say you had a little gap there? You oh yeah. Peel a piece of that off and stick it in there. We, we found that hunk on the inside so we might be able to use that. We'll, we'll see how it goes here. I just want to get the glue off here because once this stuff dries it's terrible. It's really hard. <laughs> That's pretty hard already. Yeah. It's not solid, but it's it, it's in there. Okay, we're we're going we're we'll go ahead and let that get hard and then we're going to put a piece of this on the in, on the inside. 
So I think I am going to try to make some type of wood block to go up in there to hold it. How? I don't know. I, I don't want to spend all day just making a, a brace. Okay, see ya. Okay, I'm just going to fill in a couple of the holes here. There, there's some gaps around, around the edge here. I'm hoping this stuff fills up the slack. Too much, you're gonna have to stick it up in the air. That uh, kind of worked, but uh, I kept filling with that, trying to get it to set level, and it fell off a couple of times. And I want to put a piece on the back, you know, on, on, on the inside and the back. And with all these little shredded pieces on the inside, it won't let that lay flat. If I push that up, it pushes this up too because of all the little shreds on the inside so that probably would have worked just gluing that on, on top there but it might not be that strong without the backing so what I thought I'd do is I'd sand out some of these little pieces here so that piece will sit flat so most of them fell off already Be able to use that to fill in the the top part afterwards. You probably got all the pieces of it. <laughs> okay, that feels like most of it. My guitar. What am I gonna do? That sounds like a song, don't it? Put a piece of duct tape over it. <laughs> hey, there's an idea. Duct tape. That's actually a good idea, isn't it? <laughs> Piece of gorilla tape. <laughs> and then glue the outside. Okay, so that's cleaned up pretty good now. So this piece isn't perfect. Not a perfect match. So I think I'm gonna try to make a make a better patch that, that matches. I, I don't know how. And 
then he started grinding on it with the file. This guy break his guitar. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't look that bad like that, does it? It looks all right. <laughs> Duct tape, I think, is a good idea. I should, I should have thought of that before. Kept that. From, kept it from falling. Okay, so that's cleaned up pretty good. So now you gotta make a new shape. <laughs> yeah, I don't that would be a nightmare making some type of wood block to go inside there. That would take a while. You know, to hold it up, to to hold to hold that up. And turn it that. over. Yeah. After you didn't know, turn it over this way so you're gonna press it. Yeah. Okay, let's see if this thing's flat. Like this. Okay, things flat pretty good. It's, it's almost the right height, so I think it would be all right. You know, glue that piece on the back and then make another one to match that. Almost, it would almost be the right you height. Wanna, Layer. You can draw the shape, you can draw it right on the. Oh, yeah. On the right. See? He's smart, ain't he? Okay, we need a pencil. Hold the wood in there. And okay. Fo follow what she said. Put this on the inside and then draw around here for the shape. Good thing. See, I'm a guitar player. I wouldn't normally think of those things. <laughs> Try and make it as oval as possible so I don't have any weird shapes. One edge here is kind of sharp. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take this and hold it up on the inside here. And then just draw around here for my shape. I'll put top and bottom. Top, bottom. Okay. So there's my. There's my patch. Good, good thinking. Now we'll glue this thing on the back. I don't think it's supposed to rain today, but it looks like it's starting to get dark out, out there. Okay, what she was saying is flip it upside down so the patch is down on the down on the bottom. Like I don't know where I'm putting it from, from this way. You got glue in the center. <clears throat> oh geez, look at that. There's a bunch of lint fell out the hole. Clean the mold out first. Oh. Right? You're kidding. Uh, I'm going to tear a couple of pieces of masking tape off here. I got 
masking tape on there to hold it in place. Hopefully it'll hold it just enough until the glue dries. Though a couple pieces of that big black grill tape might be a good idea on the inside. You can't take it off. <laughs> well, I don't think it'll mess up the sound. Just messing around the house with the guitar. You wouldn't be able to get it off if you would okay. pull so, the patch off. So that's pretty good there. Yeah. Okay, that's good for part one. Okay, uh, I'll go down in, in the basement and cut that out. I'll sand it down with a piece of sandpaper and get it as close as possible. Okay, see ya. Okay, I'm sanding down this part here. And uh, I started out with a, a wood file and uh, then I went to just a fingernail emery board and you can see I'm following my lines here. You can barely see the pencil mark here around the top, around the side. So it's getting close here and it's just going to be a slow process to uh, Getting that to pop in there. going to give it a day because it says on, it says on the bottle 24 hours before it really gets hard but it seems pretty good now so I figured I'd go ahead and do this tonight so it fits over here and it fits over here there's just a couple little spots that aren't making it Sometimes you have to flip it over on, on the back and uh, sand down some of the back to get the rough edges.
think what it might be like this, this ridge here isn't perfect isn't perfectly flat where this stuff is perfectly flat here on the side I think that might be what's messing it up part goes in. That's a pretty good fit there. Bottom part goes in pretty good. There's still a little bit of line there along the bottom. See if I can get that off. Again, I would draw two or three pieces in case you have one crack while you're sanding it. Then you see, yeah, I can't go in and draw another one. I didn't think of that till after I glued that part on.
have this file here, a small red file. But uh, I really haven't used it much. It's, it's too small to do any good. I've been here all night. Let's see if it works. There's a couple of indents here, like up around in here, and this here. I think it help it helps with those because it's like rounded on one side. So it does help with that. Right, now I'm getting I'm trying I'm trying to get this little thing here. Probably force that in there. It's pretty close. There's just a little pencil mark along the top here. I'm going to take that off. Use the end around that. Bottom part fits pretty good. Top part fits good. It's just a little big. So there's a little pencil mark down along the bottom. I'll just take a little bit more off there. Top part, that top part fits good. That's the top. I'm going to take some off this bottom ridge here. See if it, see if it falls in place. I'll take a little bit off here to get that to fit a little better here.
there too. I'm, I'm shaving just a little bit off the bottom. Like around this edge there's glue. So that might be stopping it from dropping down in. So like here's the top. I took a little bit off the back, the back over here. <clears throat> So that looks like a pretty good fit there at the top. Just a little bit more down here. That would probably pop in there if I pushed it. But I don't want to force it. I'm just going to take a little bit off here along the bottom. There's still a little pencil mark there. There's a little glue there. Not much. I don't think it would really do anything, but it might. Pretty good fit. Got a little chunk here. I may, I may still have that piece. So I'll go upstairs and get the glue, and we'll stick it in there. Now if I can get it out, huh? I need something to get it out of there now.
I knew this was going to happen. Get it out of there without breaking it, right? Okay. Okay, now we're going to glue this on. Uh, here I had wrote top and bottom here. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and sand that off now. I'm just using the emery board to sand it off. I don't know this this emery board shot. Yeah, I use a pencil, a pencil eraser on it. If I can get some of it. Yeah, pencil eraser is working good. some glue in here and this is that gorilla glue for wood that should be plenty I'm going to put a little bit on the edge here, around here. And here the woodsmiths out there saying, don't get any glue on the top of it. I don't care if it's different. This is an old beater. I bought it. I, I got it. I bought it used for 60 bucks. That was like back in the uh, early 90s or so. Might even been 80s, late 80s, early 90s. So that's almost like perfect level too. So much for not getting glue on the top of it. Huh? much stuff on my table. Good as far as I'm concerned. Then I'll stain it. See if I can find the chunk that matches that. Oh, it will be 
good to go. I don't think I have a clamp that would match that. I got, I got these clamps here. But uh, I, don't, I don't think it would reach. It's close, but... Perfect level too, I lucked out there. This stuff says here. Join and clamp for twenty or thirty minutes. Excess glue can be removed with clean wet cloth or scraped off after glue dries. I don't know, this stuff's pretty tough. Bond, uh, uh, allow bond to dry for 24 hours. Remove application tip to clean out glue buildup. So this here, this, this top pops off here. See that pops off and then you just rinse that out in the sink. Twenty to thirty minutes. What else I got to do, right? Set a brick on it or something.
I do it like this. See how I got that on there like that. So I put on I put on a, a, another clamp here, press down, just tighten it up. Cheapies, but they would have done the job here. So I think that'll hold it down. I don't have to stand here. Check it. Okay, see ya.